I didn't realize how much support I had as an artist until these shows when people were like, hey, I've been following since the first show. I'm like, can we cuss? Oh, oh shit. So <laughs> One of our initiatives here at Wild Goose is to make the arts accessible for all. You can purchase artwork by local artists. You can see them express themselves. It's just a great way to build and connect in a creative community. And what I love about being a culinary artist invited to this space of people who are painting or even making beverages. This is what we do. This comes from the most personal and visceral part of ourselves and we get to share with one another. I hope people walk away with inspiration. I want people to hear the words, to see the art, to feel all of those things, to take that inspiration and live through it every single day. It's like a safe space that nobody's really trying to create. It's like a collective, you know, and without spaces like these, we wouldn't have anywhere to express ourselves. I want what we did tonight in Columbus and what we did in Ohio to be the norm everywhere. We want to take this regionally, globally, and combining the two and bringing community together. And people were following Art and Soul through the journey for six months. We had art galleries in LA reaching out to us like, hey, can you guys do something out here? And I think that we really got our point across, celebrating black creators, celebrating bartenders. The amount of people I've met at these shows and how my network has grown, I just wanted to keep going. <laughs>